Um, so internally, uh, amongst your team or your coworkers, uh, what sort of level of recognition um, about these issues was there in daily discussions? Was this top of mind about how vulnerable these uh, emerging markets are to misinformation? Is this something that is uh, discussed regularly? Yeah, so it is It is discussed. Um, I am going to do my best not to say anything that would get me in trouble, which yeah. will be fine. But... <laughs> Don't yeah, want to like make any it, trouble for you. <laughs> there's a general thought, but at the end of the day, people are doing their job and every team is tied to metrics and that people are very laser focused at Facebook on their metrics. And if the metric that if you're on a growth team and the metric that you are incentivized to get to is adding new users. And honestly, the easiest way to get new users is in emerging markets, just with the mm-hmm. percentage of people that don't have it, then... Um, in a way, it kind of becomes more about trying to avoid negative news stories than really trying to mitigate actual um, social cost in those areas. Like, for example, they mentioned Myanmar in the in the Netflix documentary, and Myanmar was a country that um, that I um, you know that it's a big country. It has a lot of potential for growth, and so a lot of it is about trying to like mitigate negative news stories but also find a way to um, most effectively get new people connected there and and Mm -hmm. grow new accounts there. So people do know it, but they're not actively using that to, I don't know, I'm sure some people are, um, but it's not something that happens in every single conversation. Now, to be fair, there are teams that are being built out that we do have that work to try and curb a lot of social issues in emerging markets. Like, for example, um, a great thing that they do in India, they have something called um, locked profile, where um, it it kind of um, curbs on harassment, where women for having their profile picture that can be clicked on, there was larger incidences of them being harassed. So Mm -hmm. they built a tool out to um, kind of not allow people to kind of click into those photos and, and harass women that they don't know, you know, which is great. So there is, there is a balance of trying to solve some problems. And, and in one sense, it's almost impossible to solve for every problem ahead of time because you don't always know what's going to happen. So it's a, very, it's a very tough problem that they have to deal with. Um, but I think in general, most of the negative social externalities that happen through these big problems are not as high priority as um, other metrics. Yeah, that was um, there. Recently, a uh, memo came out by a former Facebook employee. I'm not sure if you saw that. Uh, I think her name was Sophie Zhang, um, and she was a data scientist. And she, in her memo, mentioned that a lot of the focus on uh, the issues facing Facebook uh, were put onto public relations issues as opposed to issues uh, that were social crises or electoral crises. Uh, is that your experience as well? Yeah, I, guess I haven't thought much about it, but that kind of seems what it would be. It would be, you know, mitigating, yeah, mitigating public relations issues is, in, in one sense, it's like almost the only thing that they can do. Um, but no, I mean, there are definitely ways to build better kind of proactively trying to mitigate negative social externalities, but, um, I could see them being catalyzed, categorized as, uh, yeah, public relations issues. That's definitely more important. 